Absent seemed my flame to qualify, as easy might I from myself depart as from my soul, which in thy breast doth lie. This is my home of love. If I have ranged, like him that travels, I return again, just to the time, not with the time exchanged, so that myself bring water for my stain. Never believe, though when my nature reigned all frailties that besiege all kinds of blood, that it could so preposterously be stained to leave for nothing all thy sum of good. For nothing, this wide universe I call, save thou, my rose, in it. Thou art my all. Okay, that'll do. Hello, and welcome to Inside Art. I'm Robert Maniscalco. We're turning your world inside art. And today we are turning your world inside the theater into one of the icons, the greats of the theater. And uh, we're talking about Susanna York. Yes, we have Susanna York on here on WMTV5. She's written a book called The Loves of Shakespeare's Women. She's doing a performance piece, a solo one-person show that she's put together herself, with the same title, The Loves of Shakespeare's Women. And so what I want to do is just let's go visit her in the process as she's getting ready for her performance tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Susanna York. We're trying to get the squeaks out of the stage here for this performance tonight. Yes, yes. Um, for some reason, this, this won't add to the... Well, I, I think Joseph's going to put some carpet under the, yeah. under the leg, so it should be all right. And I don't know what we're going to do with these. See, how many actors, Joseph, how many actors move their own scenery? Oh, when, when you're doing a one-person show, you always do. You do everything. Yeah, you do a bit of everything. Joseph, what, what, where, do, where are the candles going to they're go? They're all in the locked storage downstairs. No, 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 but I just wonder where they're going to go. Oh, well, it, this is what I was thinking. Uh -huh. These you can do whatever you want to do. I just brought them in case you want them. I didn't need to use them. Or and the other ones that are locked down in locked storage or what? The other ones are locked storage. I was going but, to put but, but can a can candelabra can here yeah. with like five or six candles on it and another one on that table on the side there. That you mean where the... Where that art. We'll, we'll the exhibit. We'll assemble that, that art. Right. Uh, uh, and, and these wherever I want? Wherever you want. Okay. I thought, you know, how but you we know, haven't got the, we haven't got the tea lights. Um, they may be here. If not, I'll go get some. There's a store mm -hmm. in the right house. Well, okay, all right. Anyway, it won't tea be on stage. Tea lights are otherwise known as Christmas lights. Well, we're gonna put them all e on no, no, no. Tea lights are little, uh, little candles. Oh, little uh, candle lights. Yes. Yeah. No, tea lights are Christmas lights. That's what I'm, I sometimes do use Christmas lights along here, yeah. or fairy lights as I call them. We call them in England fairy lights, but <clears throat> Christmas tree fairy lights. Yes. Yeah. And you just put them along, and it, they look like tiny foot, footlights. They're really nice. Mm. And you only, I only use those. I only thought of those because I wasn't allowed to use the tea lights yeah. because and of the naked flame. Flame. Yes, those rules. Yeah. So I'll put this over here. Okay. If there's any way I can, uh, you know, uh, well, just point don't, and don't point and I'll. Yeah, don't worry because I sort of. Joseph, I do think we need to get some paint or something for this. Yes, I have that right here. It's horrible. Right here. Okay. And well, I'll do it. 
do that when I get off and take around. Okay. Maybe we could use Lauren Bacall's scarf. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about this Lauren Bacall scarf. Well, this was I, a I gift. I saw her in a play in New York. Yes. And I had a chance to speak to her after someone wanted to introduce her to me. Someone who knew her wanted to introduce her to me. So we were talking afterwards about the theater. This is Joe Agiloni, by the way. Hi, Robert. How are you? Nice <laughs> to see you. And um, I complimented her on her scarf, and she, she thanked me, and then she gave it to me. Wow. I presume she didn't want it. Uh, why else did she give it to me? So, I, just, I, I mean, I've heard of performers throwing underwear like Tom Jones and things like that, but never a scarf. That's, that's, so that's Joseph so nice. gave me it this morning. <laughs> I want it. I think so. A Lauren yeah. Bacall scarf. Oh my gosh. Well, I was just thinking if this was, Beautiful. we couldn't paint this, I could maybe use it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, actually, I don't think I need, need to. I think it'll be a bit, look a bit strange, really. I'll have a look. Hang on. Because I haven't got any of the set here, so let's have a look. No, I don't think we'll do that. Lauren Bacall's scarf. Yes, no, I don't think we'll do Lauren Bacall's scarf. <laughs> well, that sure is pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty, but you need to iron it and all that stuff, and I need to have something on some of the others. Well, let's um, see, do you think it might, does it still smell like Lauren Bacall? I don't know. Good. Would memory you say it of, is? <laughs> you sense memory of Lauren Bacall? No. Ah. Uh, Joseph, should we just do that? Would it need to be well, dry? I want to, do it, I want to put the newspaper down, or, oh. or I'll do it outside. Okay. As long as it'll now, be you're dry not by the spray paint pillars too. My goodness. Oh, well. You do, no, it. You do, do everything. Well. You do yeah. actually. So, when you do a uh, when you do a, a one person show, you do do everything. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. long have you been doing this show? Oh, this one. Um, well, on and off. Um, uh, on and off. Mm, about three years. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing other things as well, and I've done other, other one people shows, yeah. but they've been plays rather than shows. This is the first one that I've created. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, is it mostly your writing, or is it just sort of... No, no, me and Will. You and, you and Will? Me and Will, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of Will. I remember Quite Michael Moriarty, I studied with Michael Moriarty in New York, mm -hmm. and he did a Shakespeare show, and he, uh, he felt that he actually, he, he got went way off the edge. He thought he had actually Written had it. the ghost um, of, of oh. Shakespeare him, and, and gave him the inspiration for the show. Oh, I was wow. like, okay. Wow, well, wow. <laughs> that's another uh, show, Channeling Will Shakespeare. Channeling Will Shakespeare, that'll be a, that's a good one. Well... Well, you just obviously admire the work. I do. Yes, it's uh, yes, it's about um, it's it started. It happened about three or four years ago when there was a lot of talk in England about dropping Shakespeare from the state school curriculum. Really, <clears throat> and um, that's how I decided to do this. Really, um, and it was, I suppose, the the. <sighs> Not the inspiration. That was the well, that was the kickoff. The that impetus. was the kickoff. The impetus. Yes. The actual um, inspiration, I suppose, was um, the fact that obviously people like Gilgood had done one called uh, "The Ages of Man," and I thought, well, why not an Ages of Woman? Uh -huh. So. Um, so it's along those lines. So it was. It was. Uh, yes, I wanted to embrace from Juliet to Constance and Lady Macbeth and the old, you know, young and old, and, um, and also all kinds of love. Right. Right. Uh, you th so you think Shakespeare, it, taken as a whole, really gets the whole woman experience then, you think? With all these varied characters? Uh, <coughs> the whole woman experience. Um, well, the, you know, the, you know, the, 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 you know, whatever it is about uh, womanhood that you... Uh, <coughs> I, I, I think he has a wonderful collection of women, yeah. a wonderful collection of women and of all different kinds and all different kinds of backgrounds and of course of all ages. Yes. And, um, uh, and of course there is that, that piquancy I suppose that Shakespeare's women were always played by boys. Right. Um, in fact, I am the first actress ever <laughs> to have played on the Rose Theatre in London, on the stage of the Rose Theatre, which was the original uh, theatre before the Globe, right. um, wow. where Shakespeare and the troupe, they played on the Rose Theatre. And um, I played last Valentine's Day. That's true. Was it last Valentine's Day? Yeah, last Valentine's Day. Um, and discovered, uh, you know, first of all,